Hey guys, welcome back to Bible Fun with the Duns. Today we're studying Psalms chapter um, 119 verses 121 through 144. Let's get started. Let's get started. John had a great takeaway, so I'm going to let him start and share his favorite verse that he read today. Okay, so my takeaway is verses, I mean verse 1. Uh, 23, and it says, My eyes long for your salvation and the fulfillment of your righteousness and promise. So, but that I think what that means is, um, he, who's writing this? I think David. We think David, um, but we're not completely positive. Well, whoever it the is. The psalmist is uh, what we'll call him. The psalmist is, um, so, uh, has a bit, um, uh, a really big re relationship with God that he wants to read his Bible. He wants to learn more about him. And yeah. I love that. And I also love that that verse talks about he's waiting for the fulfillment of God's promises. So he reads God's Bible. He reads God's word to know him. And he loves it for that reason. And he knows because he knows God through his word that his promises, he keeps his promises, and he will fulfill everything that he said he will do. And he said he's he's waiting on that, like he's excited about God doing that. Yes. So today what stands out to me are the things that are really stirring the heart of the psalmist. Um, in verse 123, he says, My eyes long for your salvation and for the fulfillment of your righteous promise. That was John's favorite. Uh, verse 126, it's time for the Lord to act, for your law has been broken. Verse 128, therefore I consider all your precepts to be right, and I hate every false way. Verse 139, 136, my eyes shed streams of tears because people do not keep your law. And then verse 139, my zeal consumes me because my foes forget your words. We know through this journey through Psalm 119 that God has been dealing with the psalmist and he's been changing the psalmist's heart, giving the psalmist or David or whoever a love and an understanding for God's word. We have watched this psalmist walk super closely with the Lord and we have seen this verse by verse. And now what I think we're seeing uh, towards the middle, late part of Psalm 119 is evidence of how, as the psalmist walks closely with the Lord, he is being made to be more and more like the Lord. The psalmist is starting to care deeply about the things that God cares about. Following God, walking closely with him, is changing his heart to be more and more like God. Perhaps he's starting to see things through God's eyes, the way that God sees them, and less through his own eyes. God is giving the psalmist a new heart like he talks about in Ezekiel 36, 26. That verse says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Like a worship song asks God to make the singer to be more like God. The lyrics say, break my heart, God, for what breaks yours. As we continue to walk with God each day, and I just kind of like to put myself in the shoes of the psalmist, of the writer, of the person who's singing and praising and praying to God. Um, let's be like him and let's pray and ask God to make us more like him. As we read his word every day, I think we should see fruit like the psalmist um, describes in his own life. I think we should see God changing the way we think. God changing uh, our want-tos, our actions. Um, and so let's ask God to give us this new soft heart like he talks about in Ezekiel chapter 36. And let's ask God to give us his eyes to see this world through. All right, friends, thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.